Why does a stove element change color when it is heating up? Why does a black top get hotter than the surrounding area? How are infrared cameras able to see people in a pitch black room? All of these things happen because of thermal radiation. Thermal radiation is a type of energy emitted by anything with a temperature higher than absolute zero. All particles warmer than absolute zero have kinetic energy because they move in random directions. This energy is radiated out through space, like ripples in a pond. The more kinetic energy an object has, the higher its temperature will be and the more energy it radiates out. This means that hot objects give off much more thermal radiation than cold ones. Here we have two containers, one with cold water, the other with boiling water. To the naked eye, they look the same. However, when you look at them with an infrared camera, you see the boiling water is giving off much more thermal radiation than the cold water. The infrared camera detects thermal radiation and shows it as a grayscale image on the screen. For two containers made of the same material, the hotter one will appear brighter in the thermal infrared image than the cooler one. Most thermal radiation is invisible to the naked eye. Our eyes are adapted to see only a narrow band of the electromagnetic spectrum from 390 to 750 nanometers. Beyond 750 nanometers, we find infrared radiation. Most thermal radiation is emitted in the infrared portion of the spectrum, which we can't see under normal circumstances. But because thermal radiation is part of the same spectrum as visible light, it is able to do all of the things that light does. Thermal radiation can travel over long distances, it reflects off surfaces, and it is absorbed by objects like the cement in the street. However, just because thermal radiation does all the same things as light does not mean it does them in the same way. Objects that normally aren't reflective in the visible spectrum can still reflect infrared light. And some things that allow visible light to pass through block thermal radiation, rendering them opaque to an infrared sensor. Another factor affecting thermal radiation is an object's emissivity. Emissivity refers to how much radiation a particular object can absorb and emit. Objects that are black or dull in the visible spectrum have a high emissivity for visible light, strongly absorbing sunlight and thus getting hot. Objects that are highly reflective in visual and infrared, like this kettle, have a low emissivity and do not radiate much energy. Even though the kettle is full of boiling water, it doesn't appear to be much hotter than its surroundings due to its low emissivity. This bottle is covered in a material that absorbs radiation while having low emissivity in the infrared. This is a highly unusual material. We more frequently encounter objects that have low emissivity in the visible and high emissivity in the thermal infrared. Note that we have not switched the bottles around. The black bottle looks white in the thermal infrared and vice versa. The bottle cannot get rid of the thermal radiation it takes in and it gets hotter than either the black or the white bottles. How much thermal radiation an object emits is thus based on both its temperature and its emissivity. Thermal radiation has a number of practical uses. Can you tell how many people there are in this forest? How about now? Thermal radiation sensors make it easier to see people who might otherwise be hidden or hard to find, aiding in search and rescue work. Thermal imaging can also help make wise energy decisions. With infrared sensing, we can see where heat is being lost from buildings. This information lets us improve insulation 
and reduce energy usage. Thermal radiation is also how the Earth cools itself, radiating energy into space in order to maintain a relatively steady temperature. Thermal radiation has a number of purposes, both on the personal and the planetary scale. Understanding how it works provides a number of opportunities to help people conserve energy and improve the environment.